Now let's look at using aggregate devices within Pro Tools and using Mio Console as an outboard summing bus. Here in Audio MIDI Setup, I've got a Leo 8 and a ULN 8 creating an aggregate with the ULN 8 as my clock source that gives me 40 channels of input and output. If we go back into Pro Tools, I can look at Mio Console. So here in my ULN 8 configuration, I have that set to run on the internal clock and it's at 48K. And the Leo 8 is clocked to the ULN 8 via word clock and it's also showing 48K. If we go to the Pro Tools I.O. setup, I've created one input, which is a two track in on input three and four that I'll show you in a second. And here we are at the output setup. So again, you can see that I have 40 channels available. There are a couple of things to be aware of. First is that Pro Tools 9 gives you 32 channels of I.O. So we're not going to be able to utilize all 40 channels. And that 32 channels is the first 32 channels. So any of the channels from 33 on will not be recognized by Pro Tools. Now, as you can see, I've started with output one and just assigned all of my mono outputs sequentially until we get to 19 and 20. The ULN8 and Leo8 have channels 19 and 20, which carry SMPTE information in and out of the box, but don't let you route audio to them. So we can do 18 channels on the ULN8, and then the next channel, which would be channel 19, starts on output 21. So I've created 26 outputs, which is the number of outputs I need for my session. And let's look at the Mio Mixer. What I've done here is I've got DAW1 on my ULN8. I have DAW1 through DAW18. And I've already gone through and I've changed these default names from DAW1, DAW2 in the mixer to actually be the names of my signals. Here I have color coded the Leo 8 channels in the mixer, a darker gray so that it's easier to tell which box I'm looking at. So I have guitar 2, 3, my horn section, and then I've created a stereo channel for my stereo mic that was capturing the audience left right. These signals within the Leo are sent to a stereo mix, which is a sub mix which comes out of digital one and two on the Leo and goes into digital one and two on the ULN8. So that my channels from the Leo are submixed and then mixed in with my 18 channels of the ULN8 to form my main mix. And this technique of joining two boxes together over digital is completely explained in our multi-box tutorial, which is available on the website. So now that I have a main mix, which is all of the channels from both boxes. That's routed to Firewire 3 and 4, which will feed that two-track input that I created in Pro Tools. I can put in any character that I want on any of my channels. I've got some soft sat on my main bus. I can put in Mio strips or transient controls, whatever inserts I would like to use within the channels themselves. I have a Mio comp bus compressor, and a Mio limiter here on my main bus. So at this point, let me go back to Pro Tools. And as you can see here in the Pro Tools mixer, scroll back over, all the channels are set to sequential outputs, one mono output per track. And since these are mono outs, there's no panning available here. So what we're going to do is actually do the mixing within Pro Tools as far as the level of the channels and do the panning in the Mio Mixer because that's where we're generating our stereo mix. So if I hit play, my playback begins and I can switch over to the Mio Mixer. I can go through and pan my signals here. And you just do the panning in the Mio Mixer all of the volume changes should be done within Pro Tools. Actually, I'll fix that here. Put the audience mic back up. And I'll go over here and I'll 
take that level down. So you can use all of the automation features within Pro Tools to do track automation here. And those on playback, those track automation moves would be played back out of the Pro Tools system into Mio Console and then back into Pro Tools, which is the next thing I'm going to show you. So as I said, I've created this two track input. So I've created a stereo channel that gets its signal from the two track in. It's sent to bus one and two. I don't want to monitor this at this point. And when I record enable, actually I'll return to zero. So I'm going to go ahead, let's say that I had mixed my session, everything was panned correctly, my inserts were all in, and I'm ready to create my two-track master. Just hit record, and as you can see, I've got my two-track coming in there, which is my stereo mix that gets printed into Pro Tools. And I can show you, if I come down here, enlarge that. So these files on the two-track channel are my actual finalized stereo mix. So that's how you can use aggregate devices within Pro Tools to use multiple interfaces, as well as being able to use the Mio Mixer as an outboard summing bus, taking advantage of character, all of the DSP plugins within the environment, and be able to take that Mio mixed signal back into Pro Tools for your final two-track mastering.